Hi, welcome to Clarinet HQ. Before I forget, uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to check out the other videos we have and, and make suggestions for others. Uh, today, I want to build off of a video Meredith did called The Whistle Trick. And if you haven't looked at that video, you absolutely should because it's a really simple way to know if you have correct tongue position when you're playing clarinet. This is about articulation or tonguing. And what makes articulation so difficult is that your tongue needs to be up in the back to get good tone and good intonation. But then when you articulate, you have to move the tip of your tongue. And what happens a lot is when you go to move the tip of your tongue, the whole tongue moves. And so you wind up changing the pitch and the sound as you articulate. It sounds like this. And that's a really extreme version, but that's what happens when I move my whole tongue when I articulate. And it's really difficult to think about all of that, what's happening with your tongue when you're playing clarinet. Uh, and so this is sort of an extension of the whistle, whistle trick that helps you with articulation. This is a really great exercise, just in general, but it's really good because you don't actually need your clarinet to do it. So if you're ever in this situation where you, you don't have your instrument, you can't practice, uh, it's late, whatever it is, you live in an apartment like, like us and, and your neighbors get annoyed if you practice at 6 a.m. Stop it with that racket! Uh, this is a really good exercise uh, for you to use. It still builds your clarinet skills, but isn't as loud as actually practicing. So the first step is to do the whistle trick, as, as Meredith taught in that video. So once you can do that comfortably, you know you're, you're tongue is probably in a really good position. Uh, once you know your tongue is in a good position, try whistling a high note. You're just going to lightly tongue. Don't do it too fast. And if you notice that this happens, and you lose the whistle when you do that, that means you're moving too much of your tongue. If you're able to, to tongue and have the whistle keep going, then you know you're only moving that very front part of your tongue while the back part is staying high. And that's because you can't whistle if the back of your tongue is low. And, and so that's just a really simple way to make sure you're only moving the very front part of your, your tongue. Another thing you might hear when you try this it is kind of like a, a, a loud percussive sound. More like a uh, And that's going to come if you're using too much force from your tongue. And, and remember, any time you articulate on clarinet, even when it's an accented articulation, you're really using very little force. Your tongue is always being really light and gentle. And so if you hear like a sound, when you're trying to do this, it just means you need to be a little more gentle and light and quick with your tongue. When you first start this, give yourself time. So maybe you, you put on a metronome and you start by doing uh, whole notes. And then half notes. And then on and on. And it doesn't matter, you don't really have to get too fast because the point of this isn't necessarily to uh, learn to articulate really quickly. It's just to get your body used to holding that your tongue position in the right place without you having to think about it. The last thing you could do is actually try to do it with the pitch that Meredith talked about in the whistle trick video. And, and that's uh, our written uh, C sharp. And that's harder to do just because it's such a high note. Uh, and, and you might struggle with it a bit. It might not be as strong, but that's okay. But if you can just keep the tone, even if it's not, if it's not a super strong whistle, that tells you you're, you're really articulating pretty correctly. So if you can do the whistle trick, and now you can do the whistle trick with articulation, uh, I suggest the next video you watch is our tonguing high notes video. Because that's going to take all of this to kind of the next step in a new level. 
Uh, if you have any questions about this, let us know. If you have ideas for, for more videos on articulation, tongue position, anything else, uh, please let us know. Uh, comment below, send us a message, uh, and happy practicing.